Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video how you can use the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 with just one hand. So uh, if the phone is open, it's not that easy to reach everything here on the screen. Most of the time you need the second hand to make some actions here. And let me show you in that video here three nice tools which one supports you in the daily use. The first one I want to show you is if you scroll down the home button, you will have a mini screen and you can do now all the things you want to do. You can write messages, you can even play games and so on. And that makes it much more comfortable. But don't wonder if it doesn't work at you right now because you have to enable this feature first. So just scroll in here, go to the symbol for the settings. Then you need to scroll down to the point advanced features. And you will need the point one handed mode. By default it's marked gray, so just tap on it and it will turn into blue like in my case and that means whenever you swipe down the home button you will have that mini screen. So now it is much more comfortable and as I said you can do everything you want to do, even write messages, play games and so on. And you can set up this uh, mini screen a bit again, so if you're left-handed you can put it on the other side if you want or you can also bring it in another position no? to make it a bit more comfortable. So just check how you hold your phone and so on. No? So pretty, pretty cool. And if you finish with it, if you want to have it on full screen, just tap you on the outside and you're back in the regular mode. There is a second tool which one supports that. This little sidebar here. No? So if you swipe it out, you have, your, you have access to your most favorite apps. No? So pretty, pretty cool. And uh, that means you have now with one hand, you just swipe this sidebar in here and you have now access here to your favorite apps and can have it immediately without going to the app drawer and so on. And also this sidebar, it is uh, good to set it up a bit. So just swipe it out here like this, go down here on the hamburger menu. And if you go on edit, you can change now some of these apps. The apps you are on top on it, uh, are the most favorite apps here of you and below you can change maybe here you can remove maybe gmail and bring whatsapp maybe in it and so on if you're ready with it, just tap your home button and whenever you swipe out now the sidebar you will have now your chosen apps here like in my case whatsapp okay and the third tool i want to show you is for the notification panel because um, you always need a second hand right, to open it if not it's uh, very uncomfortable and so on you know I think you know what I mean but there's also a way to have this notification panel with just one hand let me show you what I mean so just scroll on here go to the symbol for the settings then you will need to point again here advanced features and now we will need here motions and gestures and one point of it is oh, the finger sensor gestures even if it's just one, but it's to open a notification panel with the fingerprint sensor. That means when you swipe down the fingerprint sensor, you will have your notifications. If you swipe it up, they will disappear. So pretty cool. And that makes it easy with one hand, because if you swipe down the notification panel, uh, the fingerprint sensor, you have the notification panel. If you swipe it up, they will disappear. So a pretty nice mode. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this uh, video and answer your question. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me a thumbs up. That would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for. And I've created also some other videos if you're interested in with some more tips and tricks and so on. Or you can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much for all your support. And uh, yeah, maybe until next time. <laughs> Ciao.